All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade here, and welcome back to section three of Concept to Creation. Today, we will be making a stone floor texture. So to begin with, I pretty much just started off in Photoshop, and I uh, made a new layer, and made it kind of a slight off gray, and then got a 10 pixel brush, and literally started drawing stones for a solid 45 minutes. Now, as you guys know, I usually like to show you all the steps in real time, but there's just something to be said for not showing you 45 minutes of me drawing stones. So I sped this clip speed up by a thousand, I had some music on in the background, and I just kind of went to it because I don't know if I could have handled that much talking about absolutely nothing except for rocks. So right here I'm just trying to experiment, figure out how I want to separate the rocks from the back layer, and eventually what happens is I decide to give up and go back to drawing rocks, because I really needed a break at that point. Uh, you can see the time kind of flicking by on the bottom right hand side there. So we'll just kind of carry on here. We're getting close to the end of drawing these rocks. And you see I have alternating patterns of big rocks and little rocks. And I'm not really worrying about making this tileable. It should be a high enough resolution where I can just use it as is. And it turned out to be so. So here we are. We're going uh, right to the finish line here. Trying to go to the last stretch. And bam, rocks are done. So now what I'm attempting to do is how do I isolate the rocks? And what I end up using is the magic wand tool, and I select the um, grout in between the rocks and create a layer mask. So you see that right here, and now what I'm doing is I'm just getting a darker gray and painting that all into the layer mask, just so I can get a different grout color from the actual stones. Uh, now in the end I don't actually use that final grout texture, I uh, figure out a different way later on in the video here, and we'll cover that in a second. But this is one of the ways to do it. You can see me trying to scribble around and make some different stone textures. and It's not really working so well for the grout. And there's I get frustrated and I decide, okay, I want a darker layer. So I make a new layer, uh, just an overlay layer, and I kind of paint it darker. And now what I'm doing is I'm going into each of the rocks with a brush and I have just the rocks selected. So I, I selected the grout with the magic wand tool and inverted my selection. And I've applied a bevel and emboss um, effect to this entire layer, and inner shadow effect. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going with my brush, black, you know, or dark gray brush, and scribbling on each of the rocks, just trying to make some general patterns, maybe keeping to a single, um, you know, style or a single grain almost. And then I'm taking the smudge brush uh, and making my brush a little bit bigger. I go through and I smudge each of the rocks and I found this actually gives a pretty realistic looking I should say realistic a pretty stylized looking rock texture uh, you can kinda see how after the smearing happens you sort of get that the soft ridges you see in the stylized rocks and at the same time because of the bevel emboss you kinda have the different heights going on you can see sort of the the shadows and the, you know the highlights uh, going on so you can see me here just trying to finish up the rocks I'm smearing from the inside and then I move from the inside out generally that way um, I don't have too many white areas where the smear didn't go through um, so now I'm fiddling with the colors here I'm just trying to make it a little bit darker a little bit more like the concept image um, you can see I had a few mistakes there and I like that right there but in the end I decided I didn't really need the shadow since I was going to be doing a bump map inside of 3ds Max itself. So now what I'm going to do is get ready to save this out. So I'm going to save this one as a just a um, Photoshop file, make a new V-Ray material and simply assign it to the diffuse texture. Uh, now for the floor, I actually had it connected to the rest of the house. so. I was trying to UVW map it, didn't understand why it wasn't working, and then figured out, oh, let's detach it. So I detached the floor, apply its own UVW um, UVW map, and just make it a planar map and flatten it out. And right there I made a bump map, just increase the contrast of my base image. Now I'm tiling the floor by 1.5 and rotating it so you can't see any of the seams because I did not make it tileable, so I just rotated it out of the way. It's a cheap little way of doing it. Uh, now I'm adding the same map to the reflect and refract slot. I will eventually take that away because it just it reflects too much. It's just too heavy. Um, and for the bump, I have it set at minus 60 currently with the bump map. And I say minus because with my colors, I want the stones to be above the mortar. 
Um, and then I set it to minus 30 in the end, and that's that. So here's the final render uh, that we ended up with, and I just want to show you compared to the concept art what we have. So you can see our stones are actually almost identical to what the concept art has. I'm really happy with this. Um, you can see we have the nice raised stones right here. You can actually tell they are indeed stones. Uh, the reflections are just perfect on them. Um, and I know the first part there was pretty fast, so I just want to do a quick overview of the texture one last time here. So what I have is a V-Ray material, and I added the main thing as the diffuse. And I have the darker contrasted image, which I just increased the contrast in Photoshop for the bump map, which is set at minus 30. Um, the diffuse is at 100. And inside of the bump map, I set the blur at 2, just so we could blur out a little bit. If you see, if you set it at 1, you get these kind of sharp lines, and if you change it to 2, they kind of, you know, blur themselves out just a bit. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Uh, and what else was there that I wanted to show you? Um, again, I tiled this by 1.5 and 1.5, and my Photoshop image is at 248 by 248. So, or 2048 by 2048, just so you know the size that you can use. That gave me enough resolution to work with where I was able to um, fully capture what I wanted. And just so you can see my thing one more time, I pretty much have a useless layer there. I've got my main stone layer here and my grout layer here and then just a background layer which you can't really see. So really the only layers I have that are needed are the stone layer and the grout layer. Okay. So uh, with that I will end this part. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my videos and I will see you next time.